All right, we have begun uncut. Guys, today we are here filming for the Cletus 2 channel once again. Today's video is about two vehicles in particular that everyone has been missing and has come to my attention that I have seriously been depriving the Dale truck of any love. And secondly, the Bogger 9000. Or Put Bogger. it up there out of reach. Yeah, it's like once it goes on this rack. Don't let the kids touch it, like me and James. Yeah, yeah, especially you two. Yeah. I gotta keep away from you guys. The last time the Dale truck was driven was uh, when the Booster Boys were in town and we drove it to lunch. So the Dale truck's up on the rack, 100% operational, working perfect, nothing is broken on it at all. We put the nitrous kit on it and drove it with it on there, but we haven't sprayed it yet. You know, it's literally ready to go. The reason that I kind of pocketed it for a little bit was we raced it and we ran that, what, 10 second pass? Was it in the 10s? Yeah, it went 10.90. Oh, I didn't think it went 10s. Yeah, I think it was 10.9. 10.9, like 122 or something like that. But it was super sketchy. So kind of the reason why I pocketed the Dale truck is because we have to get with someone on the suspension stuff and get it to drive straight because you're on the throttle and it goes straight, you let off and it goes hard left. All the brakes need to be rebuilt on it. It's just been one of those things that before we started the nitrous stuff, before we like got out with the nitrous stuff, you know, dyno is one thing, but once we got to the track, I wanted to make sure it's straight. So I really just got to get that going. Once that is done, we can bring the Dale truck back out, race it, do whatever we want with it, but we got to get the chassis straight. And yeah, that's kind of key to drag racing chassis. Yeah, and especially that thing, it has a very adjustable chassis. A lot of different ways that thing can work. So well, the whole chassis is designed yeah. to, to, turn to turn left. Yeah. So doesn't like right turns. Yeah, we're trying to basically drag race a truck designed to turn left, which is awesome, but I want to do stuff like take it to Daytona and actually turn left. We just got to get to that point. So we're super busy right now, obviously, with uh, you know the Camaro and all that stuff going on right now. But there's your update on the Dale truck. That's why it's been gone. I'd love to put it on the dyno sooner or later and do the nitrous hits, you know, make a ton of power. It's easily gonna make a thousand horsepower. All the NOS stuff is on there. It's all ironed out for the most part, ready to go. So it's, as it sits, it could go on the dyno. Probably needs to get the injectors clean because it sat there for so long. That's what I was thinking, yeah. But other than that, we're good. So there's your Dale truck update. It's kind of sad, I feel bad. So I'm gonna get it out for you guys as soon as I can. We just. We have so many projects going all the time and the Dale truck got put to the side, but I want to fix that. I want to make it right. I want to get it back out and let the Dale truck have the fun it deserves. I don't want to be that guy that buys a super cool truck like that and then puts it in the corner. You know, that's what happened and I want to redeem myself, get it back out. So then over here. Got the squints out, it's bright. Yeah, dude, I got the safety squints going. We got the Mini Bogger 3000. This thing has more problems than, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of problems. So the first time we went and bogged it, you know, obviously went underwater, it was totally fine. Second time went under, totally fine. Third time we brought it back here and it, we let it just do its normal dry out. And <laughs> you can see the flex seal. <laughs> and the third time we hooked it up to try and fire it up to go do shoot an episode and it doesn't do anything. So. There's a good chance we cooked the computer on it or something. Not 100% sure. She needs to rewire. Yeah, I mean, there's just, there's wiring problems to start with, so. You can tell by the looks of it that there's wiring problems. Yeah. So this is another thing that has to, kind of from here on out, wait a little bit until we can finish up the Camaro, get past Cletus and cars and all that, and then we can come back to this. Another bonus, too, is at, uh, you know, a lot of you guys know Cooper and I moved. Well, at my house, I bought it specifically for, I mean, this is a very big reason why I went with, you know, chose this house is it has a, a bog and pond. It so, puts Chad's pond to shame. And it, it's a serious bog and pond. So <laughs> that's a serious Sorry, pond. Chad. Sorry, Chad. <laughs> but brother, listen up, brethren. When we go bogging deep next time, we are going bogging deep. Oh. So hang tight. I'm really excited to get back into doing this too. So just got to get back to that state but she's good she's been chilling out here drying out everything's fine just got some spider webs gotta gotta fix up the computer stuff we might just have to get some little standalone and put it in a water box a dry box yeah i wonder if they make like a health tech for this thing 
We're putting Holly on it. Holly Dominator. I don't know if it'll run this here motor, but. <laughs> There's James. He just got back from uh, AutoZone or something. Yeah, he went to AutoZone. But that's it for now. That's it. The, the update on the Mini Bogger and the Dale truck, those are the two most requested. If you're wondering about the Supra, it currently has a blown motor and Cooper's. They both do. Oh yeah, and the Mustang has a blown <laughs> motor. So they're, they're just chilling over there, yeah. both on, on pause. And then Ruby is, Ruby's 100% good to go. I mean, she could race today. So she's just been kind of chilling. We'll probably take her to Houston. And then the Galaxy's at my house as well and it's doing good, so it's just chilling. So what you got, a pilot bearing puller? Pilot bearing puller round three. Nice, James keeps breaking our pilot bearing pullers. So, gosh dang it, James. All right, guys, that's it for the McFarlane 2 channel. A little uncut video today to update you. I'm going to turn my sun squints on here for the outro. Bob Deep, Letter Eep, name's Cleet. See you later. Anything, any last words? You didn't really get to get in on this? You guys did it. You did a great team. We told them right. about Thanks, the James. Yeah, uh, either broken because of you or because of me. Hey, this actually happened. I was walking by and I chucked this and it landed like this. No joke. Wow. Chucked it at the tracker and I hit the tires. Just why did you chuck a nice can? Because someone left it out and I almost ran it over in my white truck. Ready? I'll, I'll do it again. <laughs> See you guys.